Fear Flies came out of a vision. Uh, several years ago, I heard some traumatic stories about things that happen for fly tires. They don't get paid enough. The trafficking world is very closely uh, tied often to the fly tying world. We wanted to build a company that was gonna make a difference for people. Not pay a prevailing wage, but a living wage. Last year, we were invited to come to Nepal. Hey, I'm Jeff Coffey, founder of Fairflies. So why Nepal? Well, as it turns out, Nepal is at the top of the list of the most trafficked people in the world. They've also hit another really important list, which is the 10 least developed countries in the world. And after 2015's earthquake, they've really been struggling to find a way to survive. The average person is making less than $2 a day. A livable uh, wage considered in, in Nepal would be $7. But we want something more. We want their families to take a step forward. We want their children to be able to go to school. Uh, we want them to live in good housing with clean water. And to do that, uh, the average tire or brush builder with us is able to generate $13 to $15 US per day. Uh, while I was there last time, I, I met with a young neurosurgeon. And he shared with me that he was making less seven dollars a day as an assistant neurosurgeon so our tires are making more than neurosurgeon so when OPST came to us and we said we think we can build this into a brush what we actually ended up with was a better product also one of the things that we discovered is that you don't have to do a build-up you don't have to put a bead and a big old dubbing ball behind this material to make it stand out the wire itself forces the material out even when it's wet and it maintains the profile when it's in the water. By partnering with Fairflies, we've been able to achieve the level of quality and quantity that we need without having to make any ethical compromises, which is something that we feel really good about. So the first time I approached Jeff, showed him his fly, I think it was this exact fly, something something similar, and said, hey, can we can we produce this? You know, I know it's difficult to tie, it's, it's, a, comp it's a composite loop, um, presents certain challenges for mass production, namely time, but also just complexity, arranging the materials in a loop and trying to spin it and making sure stuff doesn't fall out and making sure the proportions are right, etc., etc., etc. It takes a while to learn and it just doesn't really lend itself to mass production. And Jeff said, why don't we do all this with a wire brush and make it considerably easier, considerably stronger and create a product that the consumer can just tie in on a shank wrap it once, twice, three times, four times, depending on the effect they want, and boom, they have a fly. What you're doing is you're taking a fly that takes many minutes to tie, 10, you know, 15, 20 minutes to tie, and, and taking it and reducing it down to literally seconds. Some of these flies I'm holding here, these aren't the exact brushes that we're making, but you know, these are just made from one brush. They have body, they have flash, they have a bunch of motion, and these flies are tied literally in, in seconds. 